YouTube? Oh, Mike, uh, Dr. Mike, for Renaissance Periodization. Guess what? I know something about you. You have a problem and you haven't talked to anyone about it, but that's okay because this is a safe space between me, you, and thousands of other viewers and the NSA, which has your search history, you sick fuck. You are worried about your triceps not being big enough. Now, for the record, I think your triceps are absolutely wonderful, exactly the way they are. But other people may not agree with you. You may not agree with me, and you may want bigger triceps. And because of that, close grip bench press for the triceps, Let's fix it. Let's find out how to modify this exercise to make sure you get the most out of your triceps possible. Mike, stop it with these stupid long intros. You're not a comedian. You're not funny. You have no friends. Your dick is small. You're trying to overcompensate. Just get to the fucking tips already. Fine. All right, folks. First tip is to get a nice, solid foundation which means you are going to slightly retract your shoulder blades, not as much as you would for the regular bench press, but just enough to keep the shoulders nice and safe and out of the way. You're gonna arch your back a little bit and you're gonna make sure you plant your feet into the ground. This will give you a really stable base from which to push relatively heavy loads. Why? Because there are many, many tricep exercises that isolate your triceps, but do not allow super heavy loading because it was awkward, weird, one joint at a time, not so safe feeling. You can really do sets of five to 10, 10 to 15 on here. And for that, you want a really stable base. It's terrible for me when I go to like regular gyms or whatever, not this RP gym we have, and see people trying to lift heavy, but their feet are like this, or even the stupid thing where they put their feet up, which does nothing except destabilize you and give you less of a good workout. Unless you're training to be like a performance seal at SeaWorld and you can bench with your feet up. So what you wanna do is set up something like this, lay down on the bench, shoulders back a little bit, chest up a little bit. My feet are firmly planted. This means that when I start close grip benching, that I am able to generate a crap load of power with my triceps and everything goes super well. Voila. Oh, hey, you're back for tip number two. This one's gonna be a tiny little rant, but bear with me. Grip width. A lot of people think that the narrower the grip is, the better the triceps work. So you'll see this in a lot of gyms where they'll take a grip like this and they'll do this shit. Cause you physically can't fucking touch your chest with this shit. It's by definition a partial. And sometimes if they're stocky and thick enough, it's a partial on this end and a partial on this end. You're fucking yourself twice. It turns out that if the triceps go through a very large range of motion and especially are stretched at the bottom, even a wider grip can work super well. So my best advice to you on grip, other than what you feel is best for your body, is to take a grip that is just outside of your rib cage width, so it's as close as possible, but you can still get the full depth of going all the way down. For me, that's probably one finger in line with the bar here. I'm gonna guess really quick. And so I'm gonna do this. Notice the bar comes down. I'm actually floating right here. I'm resting completely on my biceps. I'm not touching my chest. If there was real weight, I absolutely could touch. This is a really close to ideal grip for me. And notice my hands are positioned just outside of my ribs. Any closer, too much. Any wider, it turns into a bench press that isn't really for the triceps anymore. Just outside of rib position is really, really great. But it's only great if it works with our next tip. As you descend in the close grip bench, it is critical, maybe not critical, helpful that you keep your elbows flush to your sides. This is just fine and dandy, but that's a lot of chest because we're flaring out and the chest does that motion. If you keep your elbows close in, you can really, really load the triceps. Now you can't lift as much weight like this. And it's absolutely imperative that to maximize this function, you do a slow eccentric. 
And during that slow eccentric, you want to feel your triceps and then press up. Triceps with elbows in, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. Press. Triceps in, 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 in. Press. That's how you do this shit right. That's how you get the most out of this movement. One of the things that grows muscle a lot is a deep stretch at the bottom. If we're training our triceps, it is true that if we want to lift a lot of weight, we can push the bar down to below the nipple line and the elbow angle isn't going to be insanely high. There's a stretch there, but not a ton. You'll be able to lift a lot of weight if you do this. Sweet. If you want to win the close grip bench world championships, amazing. What I want to convince you guys to at least try is to turn the close grip bench into a little bit of a JM press. Okay? A JM press is something that goes to your chin or your neck or your clavicles, generally your clavicles. But we're not going to go that far. We're just going to do a little bit of just above the nipple line. You guys see how down here it's a little bit of a skull crusher type of feel? My arms are kind of going this way a little bit. We, this is too much. We don't want this. This is a different exercise. This is a JM press. Yeah, this is standard, but just one inch here, and I can feel my triceps stretching like crazy. Press out, elbows in, and the entire time you have your elbows in and down, and you're looking to press a little bit higher on the chest, that's a shitload of triceps. It feels kind of like a skull crushery thing. And here's the big kicker. If you bench close grip down to your sternum, yes, you can lift more weight, but also it involves your triceps less, it stretches them less, it makes them less the limiting factor, and in that regard, it can actually work your chest a lot. They've done direct research on EMG and stuff like that, and they realize that close grip bench pressing, as most people do it, really is still predominantly a chest exercise. And it's just not that great of a tricep movement. But to get more out of triceps in close grip bench, which is the whole fucking point of this video, try to do a little bit of where you don't touch at the nipple line, just one inch above. And as you go down, you will feel your triceps and you'll feel like crazy at the bottom and on the way up. You have to use less weight. You have to be more meticulous, more controlled. But I promise you, there's a very good chance it pays off and your triceps will get nuclear annihilation. This is the outro. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Check out all of our products on RP. Links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. Fuck swipe, insta fuck, insta sex, fuck sex, face fuck. Whatever the kids are into nowadays, social media type stuff. Also, I made up a dance. I want you guys to like maybe tell me if it's good. I think it's good, but I get excited and maybe think I'm better at dancing. And I really am. Jared Feather says I'm terrible. I think he said I'm the second worst dancer ever. Uh, I'm not gonna say who was first between us, but uh, I made up a dance. Here it is. I'm just gonna do it, and then we'll roll outro. And uh, just do the comments. Just let me know if you made it this far in the video. If I'm pretty good. All right, ready? And uh, Scott's video guy, feel free to cue any kind of music you want. 